Hello all, welcome to the part 2 of Azure Managed Disk and Disk Encryption. In part 1, we have already discussed about server side encryption with customer managed key. So, and now in this video, basically, we will cover the second option for encryption process, which is Azure Disk Encryption option. So, for this particular Azure Disk Encryption demo, again, we need two things. First, we will need a virtual machine and next we need a Azure Key Vault. So let's create a virtual machine first, then we will create a Azure Key Vault. So I'll create a demo VM. I'll leave uh, everything default. So here I will provide username and password. In disk part, so it's by default it's platform managed key. And I will create a new data disk here. And I'll change the size to 8 CB. Key management, I'll leave it default platform managed key. Next networking, I will keep everything default management, monitoring, advanced and text, everything will be remains same. So this BM creation will take couple of minutes. So meantime, what we will do, we will create a uh, Azure key vault. I'll give unique name demo 7654 so this name should be unique the reason I'll choose my central India as a reason next so for timing I'll keep everything default this basically option we have to enable when we do the uh, Azure disk in encryptions so we will uh, enable it after some time so I'm keeping everything is default for now. So we'll wait once the deployment is completed for key vault and the BM. Okay, the BM deployment is completed. So I'll go to resources and I'll go to disk. So here we have two disk. This is the OS data disk and we have another data disk which we have created for 8 GB size. So now you can see here the encryption type we have currently server side encryption with platform managed key both the disk and it's a wide, it's a default one. So now what we need to do. Okay, this is also completed. <clears throat> so I will show you one thing. Uh, Firstly, I'll log in this to this particular VM and we'll see any uh, BitLocker sign is coming or not. Because Azure Disk Encryption use for BitLocker feature for Windows VM. So we need to check. Meantime, it's loading. I'll go to my key vault and I'll create the encryption key here, or which is called a RSA key. So I'll create a new key. I'll uh, give name demo key and I'll create it. So key we have already created now. So I'll go back to my BM demo desktop when we'll see the drive letters here basically. Okay, it's came up. Mm. 
So as you can see in a C drive and D drive we don't have any encryption or a bit locker icon here. So because it's not uh, encrypted for uh, the Azure disk encryption that's what we have to do now. So I'll minimize this. I'll go to disk and I'll go here advanced additional settings and here we have option disk to encrypt. So here we have OS disk and OS and data disk both. So I'll choose OS and data disk both. Now here we have to give our Azure key vault key name and key which we have created. So you will see this error because uh, the current user which I'm logged in does not have permission to this particular key vault. So what I have to do, I'll go to access configuration sorry uh, access control and we'll assign one role so i'll assign a contributor role here to my user select members and i'll search for my name so role assignment is completed so before uh, enabling uh, this uh, encryption settings in the virtual machine label first we have to enable in the key vault label so if i'll go back to my access configuration we have resource access so we have to check this option azure disk encryption for volume encryption so we need to select this option and we need to click hit on apply so it's applied now we will go back to our uh, virtual machine and i'll go again back to the disk and we'll go to the additional settings and I'll again uh, choose disk to encrypt OS and data disk so I'll choose my keyword from here I'll choose now key and it will automatically take the latest version so I'll hit on save so this disk encryption deployment is going on so we'll wait for a couple of minutes for that now deployment is completed so now what i will do i'll go back to my virtual machine and i'll refresh it so now you can see this bit locker symbol is coming now because we have enabled azure disk volume encryption on this for this particular virtual machine so that's how basically we use Azure Disk Encryption. This is the another option for the encryption process of managed disk. So thank you so much. See you in next video with next new chapter. Thank you so much.